Alright, welcome back. I am outside Victor's shack. I put some stuff away, and we'll get a move on. Check the magazine, uh, the... Check those things for magazines, the mailboxes. Here's a hint for more experience. Crush the babies. Here we go for our first level up. Wow, this kind of... Alright, whatever. Now, we're not gonna need 50 speech for a little while now. So we can focus on something or other. I don't know what, though. Something in medicine. Yeah, that much in medicine. Guns are fine. We're not gonna pick up any worthwhile energy weapons for a while. Survival is not important because we're not playing hardcore. Repair will be important to get to 90 by level 14 for jury rigging. So you could repair um, things with like things. And, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Are my guns at 30? No, they're not. Uh, I wonder why. I wish I paid attention when I started recording. Pick this. Sorry, I can't. Let's start pumping up our luck. And next would be perception. Again, so you get a good perk in a few levels. Well, I couldn't have started more than two minutes ago, so... Yeah. Apologize if this is a short video. I might lose track of what time it is. And if it gets to be too long... Well... I'm screwed. Could pick up Mantis Legs. I know they're only like one cap, but they weigh nothing. Alright. Let's repair the pistol. Or the other pistol I found. And we're gonna sell the weathered pistol. I really should just take that pre that pre order pack off. Cigarettes is expensive. Uh, you have a sprint mod, use it. 
That's what it looks like. Speedy Gonzalez there. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? My problem is these subtitles. General, off. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Death claws. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. You know, we're gonna go steal her meeting people from the, from the back room. And her son's at Sarsaparilla. We're, we're, we're a scamp, you know? Wow, a thousand caps. Well, we're not using energy weapons for a while. Thanks. Be careful out there. Yeah, you can try not to talk with everybody. You know? Yeah, we're, we're just gonna. You know. I know. Bad karma. Well, karma doesn't have that much of a stake in this game. And it's apparent that I am going to help. Ringo. Star. Get back together with the remaining Beatles. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. 
What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Do you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I need a higher gun, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. It'll have to do. What now? We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yeah, pick up that doctor's bag. Those are important if you're playing hardcore, which I'm not, but it's still good to grab. Grab all the sunset. Still has ammunition. Open his cash register. And when we come back, I will help out Ringo get the town on his side. Crashed again. Ha! Huh? Bye.